Hello Nuggets. Okay. Want to make a quick update on circumcision. Uh, it is Thursday, Tuesday. So it is 12 days, day 12. Um, okay, so here's the update. The update is it's getting better, as to be expected. And um, But something happened this morning, um, which was kind of freakish, actually. Look at my old man neck thing. So, last night, got erections again, same problem. And something I found really helps is if I wrap it in a bandage. I can't remember if I mentioned that, so forgive me if I have. If I wrap it in a bandage, it's covering it so it doesn't get rub against cloth or touch anything. And while I'm asleep... I don't get as many erections. I still get them occasionally, but, you know, not as often. So I got an erection last night. I was like, oh, that's ridiculous. It woke me up. I went to the bathroom. I bandaged it, went back to bed, slept pretty good. I got like five hours last night, which is good for me. Um, this morning, in the shower, before I got in the shower, I took the bandage off. Now, normally I wait till I'm in the shower to take the bandage off so it's wet and it's a little easier to remove. But I'm feeling better. It's not feeling so bad, so I took the shower off. This is where you might want to switch off if you're squeamish uh i took it off too fast and I, it wasn't fast like it's not like i ripped this thing off but i took it off dry right and when i undid the last bit of bandage i pulled out four stitches now they were almost coming out anyway so it's not like i literally kind of ripped them out of the skin they didn't feel it didn't really hurt it's a little pucker but not, not, nothing much the problem is as soon as i did that blood just blood started dripping, like drip, 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 drip. And uh, like, so I rushed to stand over the toilet. So I'm watching it. I'm like, oh, fuck, what am I going to do? Now, I was bleeding before, actually, right after the operation and uh, the procedure. And it freaked me out. I was like, should it be doing that? I don't know, you know. The very first time I took my bandage off on day two, I was bleeding. I spoke to the doctor. He said, it's fine, just apply pressure. So this time... I applied pressure and I could do that because although it's still sensitive, it's, it's easier to do. So I applied pressure and the bleeding stopped and it's all fine. And then um, I lightly wrapped it in a gauze and some bandage again. I took that off earlier. It's absolutely fine. The blood's clotted. It's not bleeding anymore. But the point is, the stitches are coming out, right? So I lost at least four of them. I've been losing them steadily. It's really weird the way they come out because if, if, if I'm wearing underpants... I'm wearing bo my boxes. Uh, I wear them at night sometimes because it just makes it easier. Not normally, but in this circumstance, it makes it easier. It doesn't move around as much. So <laughs> I'll wake up in the morning with just little knots in my pants, which are the stitches. The knot itself is what falls out. The rest of it that's inside obviously dissolves away. Um, so it's just weird. Sometimes I'll just wake up in the morning and there'll just be a couple of stitches in my pants. You know, or in the shower, a couple of them will fall out. It's just, it's weird. We're almost there. I think there's like four or five stitches left, mostly along the frenulum. Um, uh, um, that's where the bleeding was as well. One on the frenulum, one on what they call the corona. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it's, it's doing better. Um, if you're uncircumcised and you're watching this or you've just got circumcised, um, cleaning is a little unusual. I, I, I assumed it would be simple, right? I would assume like, well, I know how to clean clean myself when I have a circumcised penis, uncircumcised. So when I'm circumcised, surely that will be even easier, right? Well, actually, it's a little bit more difficult because, I told you this is getting graphic, they leave a little section of foreskin around the base of the gland, right? And it's literally like a collar. It's like a popped collar. <laughs> so they pop the collar, <laughs> but you have to clean under there. Right? I mean, I assume you do. I am. I hope that's what everyone does. I hope people are like, dude, don't touch it. You know? But but cleaning under there is a little unusual. It's like when I was uncircumcised, I didn't really think about that. I just pulled the, pulled the foreskin back, washed it up good and tight. Put, that's it. It was done, right? But now I'm actually kind of going around. I was thinking, like, do I need a cotton wool bud? Like, how do I get in here? A Q-tip, rather? How do I get in here and do it? So I, I figured it out, I think. But I, you also have to be... I'm having to be very gentle because obviously it hasn't fully healed. Um, so there's not much I can do, but um, it was a surprise to me that cleaning is not as straightforward. You don't just put soap on it, just scrub it and you're done. I, I think you actually have to work on it a little bit more. I would assume that in a perfect world you would do that when you're uncircumcised as well, but you can't because you, you don't see that far down 
under the gland. So if this is the mushroom of the gland, I'm kind of drawing dick pics on here. This is the mushroom of the gland and there's the shaft, right? So this bit under here, when you're uncircumcised, you just never go under there. You, you, even if you attract the foreskin, it's like a turtleneck around there. There's nothing, you, you can't get under there. But now I can. And so I've got to clean that as well. Um, so yeah, doing better. The, the same thing with the erection set before. Really frustrating. The bandage helps quite a lot. Um, the peeing, I don't, no one, oh, it's okay. I don't think I've mentioned this. And the doctor didn't mention it. Um, aiming your pee and the strength of your pee is a huge change, right? So firstly, I'm, like I think I did say this before, but I, I could strip paint when I pee, when I micturate. It's insanely strong. In fact, the other day, I called my wife in <laughs> while I was peeing, and I was I had my back against the wall, and I was peeing four feet. <laughs> it was pretty funny. It was worth it. And at that point, the aim was good, so it was all right. I didn't need to worry. So the pee strength is, is really strong. There's no way you're peeing in secret. When I go into a public bathroom, I'm sure everyone's going to be looking at me. I don't know if that goes... Or if that's the way everyone who is circumcised pees. Maybe that's just like, yeah, that's what it's supposed to be. But when you're uncircumcised, it's, the flow is a little smoother. It just doesn't work that way, you know. Might still be inflamed in there and squeezing it, creating more of a jet. I don't know. Anyway. Um, oh, wait. I just blanked on what the other thing. Oh, yeah. And the aim. So the other thing is that not only does it come out strong, but how do you control where it goes? Like the majority of it, and in fact, after about two seconds of peeing, it comes out in a straight, direct fireman's hose line, right? But when I first start, I mean, it's, it can go, every, I have to clean the bathroom every time I pee. It's insane. I'm thinking like, well, what do I do if I have to go to a public urinal? Because I can't, I'll be peeing on the guy next to me. Like, so I don't, I don't quite know. I assume that when it's not too sensitive, I'll be able to hold the tip and aim it a little bit more. But I'm aiming in the right position. I know how to aim. I'm a married man. I definitely know how to aim. But sometimes it just, it's coming out the side. And that happened when you when I had foreskin too, but didn't have the effect because the pee's coming out just, you know, like a little boy fountain. Like, Bee! now it's coming out like a hydrant. <laughs> that little miss aim. I peed on the shower today. We have a, the bath is here, the toilet's here in our small bathroom. I'm using the spare bathroom because I have no aim at the moment. Bath, the toilet's here, the bath is here, and the shower's here. I peed on the shower this morning, and I peed at about chest height. <laughs> it's like, fuck up, shit. I, nothing you can do. And you can't really stop, I can't really stop the stream at the moment because it's too painful. So um, it's not painful normally, but it's painful if I do that. Anyway, yeah, very graphic video, but you know what? Someone's got to be asking that question out there. So I don't know. I don't actually know what you do. Is that, it's crazy. A 50-year-old man, nearly 50, and I don't know how to aim my new pee. Mm. Uh, I think it's just I hold the head and I just control it a little bit better or open up the urethra a bit more. Or I, don't, I mean, I'm not a doctor, but I play one on this blog. Anyway, so there's that. Anything else? No, just uh, spirits are feeling better. So it's good. Again, like I said before, if you're early in it, stick with it. Day 12 now, really getting a lot better. There's still some underwear that I can't wear and certain things I can't do, and I still hobble a bit. And it's a little socially awkward because sometimes it's in a good position and I can walk normally, but there are other times where I have to adjust. And it doesn't matter if I'm in Ralph's. If I'm in the bread aisle at Ralph's or if I, I'm... You know, I'm walking down the freezer section in, in Rouse. If it's in the wrong position, my hand's going down my pants and I'm adjusting. I have to. See, that will just stop moving, you know. So that's a little weird. You might want to take precautions like pad it a little bit. Um, one thing that does work is if you take gauze um, or bandage or whatever you're using, one of those things, and turn it into like a little pillow. And then if this is the penis, sorry, this is the penis. Yeah. No, this is the penis and this is the pant. Just put the gauze right there, all right? Because that will soften it. And then you can still feel the sensitivity if it hits like a seam or something like that on your pants. But it's a lot easier to deal with. It's a pain though. It's management. It's frustrating. But it's better than nothing. All right, you little nuggets. That's it. That's your day 12 update. I hope you enjoyed every scintillating detail 
of my penis. Bye.